children welcome back today we are going to discuss about the poem aunt jennifer's tigers by adrian rich which is a part of class 12 cbsc syllabus in which we are going to study in details about the poet the theme of the poem the message delivered by it the central idea the stanza wise summary of the poem and the poetic devices used for your convenience i have added time stamps in the description so that if you wish to watch any segment again you can just click on that particular time stamp to go through it so without delay let's get started adrian rich was an american poet essayist and feminist she was called one of the most widely read and influential poets of the second half of the 20th century and was credited with bringing the oppression of women to the forefront of poetic discourse she employed free verse dialogue and the interweaving of several voices she evolved from a more lightly constructed traditional rhymed poetry to a more open loose and flexible poetic line the theme of the poem relates to the issue and subject of male dominance in society the theme wants to highlight the conflicts issues and struggles that a woman has to face in the male chauvinistic society aunt jennifer is a symbol of all married women who suffer at the hands of a patriarchal society the message the poem is a statement of conflict in women especially between the impulse to freedom and imagination aunt jennifer wants a life that she embroiders on the panel she wants a colorful vibrant life which every woman should have the power to create moving on to the central idea of this poem is that women have remained slaves of males because of the institution of marriage they have remained objects in the hands of males throughout the ages the only way of escaping this slavery is through art the poet seems to encourage the women to use art for expressing their desires let us now move on with the stanza by summary of this poem in details stanza 1 aunt jennifer's tigers prance across a screen bright to bad denizens of a world of green they do not fear the men beneath the tree they pace in sleek chivalric certainty in the first stanza aunt jennifer's tigers prance and move across a screen or panel the poet describes them as bright colored like the shining golden yellow jewel topaz they are free inhabitants of the green forest and are not scared of the men standing under the tree these tigers move about with grace elegance and confidence aunt jennifer's tigers are not real or living tigers they are images created by her on tapestry aunt jennifer was held captive by the oppressive hand of a patriarchal society creates in her art an alternative world of freedom the tigers represent her dreams her desire to be free from constant fear and oppression that govern her life these majestic and fearless tigers also present a sharp contrast to aunt jennifer herself who is bound by the constraints of married life stanza 2 aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand aunt jennifer appears to be creating beautiful images of the tigers by using wool but she finds it quite hard to pull even the ivory needle she is so terrorized and tortured that she is unable to carry the weight of the wool her fingers flutter the uncle's wedding ring seems to put a heavy weight on her hand it suggests that she feels burdened with her marital responsibilities the poet here wants to convey the fact that a woman works to glorify the tiger that is 
her husband throughout her life but she feels so much subjugated that the marital bond becomes a burden to her this is exactly what happens to aunt jennifer's life stanza 3 when aunt is dead her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid in the concluding lines the poet reveals a sad truth that even death will not be able to release aunt jennifer from the trauma that she had to undergo during her lifetime her life will always be a story of her ordeals and the oppression that she was subjected to however the tigers created by her will be eternal they will always be proud and unafraid perhaps the poet wants to say that the women themselves are creating these tigers they need to break their shackles and be unafraid like the tigers themselves aunt jennifer who for long had borne the miseries she was subjected to now longs for freedom from dominance and male chauvinism moving forward let us now discuss the poetic devices used in this poem number 1 imagery which is a sensory experience or creating a picture with words referring to the five senses example of imagery in this poem fear stricken depressed wife magnificent tigers the second poetic device is metaphor indicating indirect comparison between completely different things example bright to pass the third poetic device is alliteration which is the repetition of the same letter or sound example chivalric certainty fingers fluttering prancing proud the fourth poetic device is symbolism which is using symbols to show ideas and qualities example heavy wedding band tigers and untamed free spirit the next poetic device is personification in which non human beings are described as having human characteristic example tigers having pride and confidence and are unafraid of men the last poetic device is hyperbole which is claiming statements that are not meant to be taken literally example of hyperbole in this poem massive weight of wedding band with this we come to the end of today's video you will be glad to know that my online and offline english coaching classes are going on and anyone who wishes to get detailed notes of the chapters and the poems is always welcome to join the details of my online and offline classes are given in the description thanks for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe to get a regular view of my videos